Can you learn about the health of your lungs from your wrist? Don't hold your breath. A headline sensor on both the new Apple Watch Series 6 and the new Fitbit Sense is an oximeter, a sensor that measures the amount of oxygen in your blood. Doctors use devices like this finger pulse oximeter to figure out if patients, including those with COVID-19, are having difficulty breathing. It shines light through your finger to see the color of your blood, which indicates how much oxygen is there. Then it assigns you a percentage, known as your SpO2, which for healthy people ranges between 90 and 100. This one is FDA approved and has a published error rate of two percentage points. But the smartwatches of 2020 try to read your blood oxygen from your wrist and are not FDA approved. Of course, I've been trying to test them all at the same time. Let me show you how they work. Apple's Series 6 watch has lights and sensors on the bottom and an app that does spot checks. You hold really still for 15 seconds as it reads light bounced off blood in your wrist rather than passed through your whole finger. But Apple won't say what its error rate is or if darker skin color might affect the measurements. My own test readings have been all over the map, suggesting I either have emphysema or 100% perfect lungs. The new Fitbit Sense also has sensors on the bottom, but it only reports overnight averages based on readings taken while you sleep. To Fitbit's credit, this probably offers a more accurate view of your lungs, given the current state of the technology. Both Apple and Fitbit say, in the fine print, that their oximeters are not medical devices and should only be used for fitness and wellness purposes. Um, okay, but you can't use these sensors while you're working out. And their disclaimers aren't stopping breathless headlines touting their features to COVID-19 symptoms. Look, I believe that collecting good data about our bodies can make us healthier, but it's a bad trend that consumer tech products are touting the features of medical devices and then claiming they're not medical devices.